out here catching salmon, kokanee. And we're gonna keep getting after it. It's a kokanee ice fishing episode. Um, so far, I've got one on the ice. I'm just using some mealworms and some small spoons and um, small jigs and things like that. I'm just putting them kind of on that bottom half of the cowbells and seeing if we can pick up fish. So, um, so far, we got one, we got a couple more bites, and we're just waiting for more fish to come in. It is really warm out here. I got my hoodie up because I'm trying not to get sunburned, even though I did put on sunscreen. Um, we are waiting for the kokanee to come back, basically. Um, we got the jigging machine with the cowbells on it. And then um, I'm sitting here jigging two holes. I've got a, a little slip bobber set up in that one. And then this one, I'm jigging a, a little orange cast master. But um, basically we have our cowbells from 20 to 30 feet. And then we are jigging kind of in the lower half of that. So like um, probably about 25, 30, 32 max, something like that. So we're just kind of waiting for these uh, salmon to come in off the jigging machine and come take a look at our baits. The top line is my stagnant bait and the bottom one, uh, red one is my cast master and then you can barely see with the blue that is the jigging machine which is about five to six feet off and uh, that is kind of the weight at the bottom of it so it's just kind of moving up and down about two three feet something like that and uh, trying to attract these kokanee salmon so again we got one on the ice over there bled them out uh, limit in Colorado is 10 Ooh, we got fish looking we got fish looking, hang on. 10 fish, there is no size limit. Um, so yeah, really good eating. They're salmon, I mean, they're delicious. So gonna see if I can whack, uh, you know, my limit and then um, probably go get some pike a little bit later. So that's kind of the plan right now, but uh, we're gonna keep after it and hope these fish come in soon. All right, so I just got salmon number two over there flopping around. Um, got that one on a cast master with a little wax worm, small orange one. Um, they're light biting, man. Very, very difficult to hook, but I've got the school here. I drilled another hole and I put two cowbells down the same rod. I was calling to see if you guys had any 12 volt batteries. Mine just died, so. Curious if you guys have any 12 volt batteries. Um, my name's Chris, you can call me back at 720. Well, I'm in a really bad scenario here. I have a battery in my jigging machine and then I have a battery in my fish finder and the one in the fish finder just died. So now I have no finder because I tried to put in the spare battery for the finder and the finder battery spare, I think it's end of life because I plugged it in and it worked for a couple seconds and then it was gone. So, yeah, story of my life. So now I'm trying to find a 12 volt battery so I can get going again. We've got a school on us and we're starting to catch them. A little rainbow trout colored spoon, putting a little red mealworm on it and then dropping right down to them. And they're smacking it, man. Bunch of fish and a 
bunch of fish there. You see all those fish? Crazy amounts of fish. So that was my first big school, was it? huge school, and I got bit. Did you? Yeah, I almost had him out. Yep. Stay right there. Rainbow trout colored spoon, putting a little mealworm on it, and then dropping right down to them. And they're smacking it, man. I'm sorry I can't get any of these uh, on film in terms of catches. We're at four. Uh, I had a fifth up to the hole, and then it came off. So we are at four. Um, and it just happened so fast. And the hard part is, is you wanna keep dropping down while the school is still on you, so you can catch as many as you can. So very hard for me to get everything on film, although I did try. So hopefully we got some stuff for you guys to look at, but uh, yeah, they've definitely thinned out quite a bit. Very few and far between at the moment, and uh, just trying to stick it out at this point. This whole box, is full of stuff. Um, cast masters, um, any sort of spoons. I was gonna try some trout teasers, haven't tried those yet. Uh, here's some more little Cleo spoons, Swedish pimples, uh, buckshot spoons. Um, that's basically about it. And then, you know, like big cast masters too. I was kind of afraid to use the big stuff, big quarter ounce jigs and three eighths jigs, but um, it does give you a lot of control. You can easily see your lure in a mess of fish. Um, very helpful for, for getting down to the right depth and quickly. All right. I think this is about gonna wrap up my day with salmon fishing. Uh, just had kind of a tough day today. Um, first of all, I think the fish, um, they just weren't coming around as often as, as they usually do. Number two, I'm um, kind of new to the salmon fishing thing, so it's a very light bite. You have to be really prepared for it. 
everybody was catching fish and you know it's kind of happening all around but nothing super super consistent so um, we'll get out here and try it again but uh, I definitely wanted to give you guys uh, just kind of a peek into salmon fishing here in Colorado and uh, you can do it without a fly rod and it doesn't have to be during the run so and uh, yeah it's a fun time they're great eating and um, just had a blast so hopefully we will catch you guys in the next episode of catching Colorado so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the video I really hope you enjoyed it if you're interested in more relatable content you can check out these videos right here oh and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures